lifts it up. Oh! What a wild slap by Ben and Bonner. Hey, Ben. Hi, hey, sir. How are you? I'm good. How about you? I'm good. Long time no see. Yeah, have a seat. Thank you, sir. Thanks for having me here. Oh, oh, you still got it's the magnet. It's you. Yeah, remember that. Why are you back? I miss the Philippines. You miss the Philippines? Hell yes, yeah, my second home. What? Why? What do you miss about it the most? My friend, the Lazayan community, my ex teammate in LaSalle. And the people in the Philippines in general are so friendly. I mean, speaking a little bit of Tagalog or hearing Tagalog around me, at least I understand a little bit compared to like being probably in Korea, where I do not understand anything at all. Okay, uh, so you're here, you're actually on vacation. This is not like a work trip. Nah, um, well, almost. It almost. almost yeah, it almost. almost became, tell, us, tell us about that. It almost became a working trip. I mean, it's a pretty funny story, but I arrived here on Thursday. And since I had no number yet, uh, I had to look for a Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi place. And as soon as I got connected, I got a, coach, a text from my ex, my previous coach, Kojuno, since he's with Magnolia right now. And he told me about uh, me uh, being a potential replacement for Romeo because he was hurting. And I was like... It's Romeo Travis, right? Yeah. And I was like, yeah, I'm still here. So I'm on vacation. I have nothing to do. Why not? I love the Philippines and maybe playing here would be a great thing for me and that's how it all started. You almost played. Ben and Bala almost played in a PBA game. Yeah. It was this close. Yeah. This close. I mean, be honest. Were you nervous or were you excited? I was excited because uh, you know as a basketball player you want to play against you know the best player on the highest level. Started in Cebu and then UAP. And let's say for me in the Philippines, the top, the highest level is the PBAs. So for me, I feel like I was going up. So I just wanted to reach there and see what I can do. And uh, really, I was excited, but and then things didn't go my way. But I'm not going to say the door is closing. And I'm sure in the near future, something will happen. I think the door just opened. Because now, people are now, have now planted that seed in the minds of the PBA fans saying, hey, we might see Ben and Bala play for our team. Yeah, why not? Because uh, most of the guys I played against in Korea are the same imports that I play here in, uh, in the Philippines. So it's basically the same. It's just... And for me, uh, having played here in, some, in the Philippines, I know more about the Philippine basketball than the rest of the guys even coming in here. How would you compare yourself to, uh, you know, the PBA imports that you've seen so far? Oh, they're just basketball players, you know. Are you better than them? I mean, I have my strength and my weaknesses, and they do as well. And I gotta be able to use my strength to be able to have the team win. So, and for me, in my mind, I always gotta think that I'm the best basketball player in the world for me to be able to compete against the best. Because if you go in the game thinking that you're not good, then you already on. Uh, putting yourself down and it's not good for an athlete always think positive and think the best. I've always wondered if playing as a PB import was like a part of your dream. I mean, I'm like, it's pretty funny, but I feel like I'm like a little bit of a Filipino. I've been here for so long. Like I t- tell to everyone, the Philippines is like my second home and why not, right? Because you started in a low uh, college uh, division and then went to UAP. And I just feel like this is a grad is... You know, it's still going up, and reaching there would be a goal for me. Just to show everyone that it doesn't mean where you started or where you're from. If you work, you put the time in, and uh, you're patient, and everything can happen. And so Ben Mbala, who nearly became a PBA import, is now an absolute jet setter. You know what that means, right? Jet setter, like you travel nonstop around the world, and you try and look back to that kid from Cameroon, little Ben Mbala, you know, I, how, how old were you when you started playing basketball? Like 13, 14. 13, yeah. right. 13-year-old Ben Mbala. Did you ever imagine that at some point in your life you would travel non-stop around the world to play basketball? Not at all, to be honest, because 
The only thing I had in mind is play soccer. Because it was all about soccer in Cameroon. And then being the tallest guy in my group of friends, well, that brother just told me you need to stop playing soccer. You're just wasting your time. There's this one team there, go try yourself out. And then that's where the dream started. And with time, I started falling in love with the game, started getting more and more interested. Everything started from there, and when I saw that I have a chance to handle pro, then I started putting in more work, you know, sacrificing more stuff, like not being a regular kid, because, you know, for you to be able to play with the best or against the best, you cannot do things like everyone else else's do it. If you have to practice twice a day, you have to practice twice, and maybe you hang out less with your friend or do what regular kids do, and that's what I did. And it pays off, and I'm, right now I'm willing to go at whenever, wherever I want, and I'm living my dream of being a pro basketball player. It's, and I feel like I'm very blessed because I know there's a lot of players who want to be in this position. And uh, the only thing I can tell them is just keep working and uh, be patient because it's a process, like Embiid said. And that process is taking you from one city to the next, to another city, to another city, to from one country to another country to another country. Can you go and enumerate, if you can still remember all the countries that you've been to, all the countries that you've been to before coming back here in the Philippines? But should I start with before coming to the Philippines, even before like after, college? After La Salle. Oh, after La Salle. Yeah, after La Salle. After La Salle, I went uh, to Mexico. After Mexico, I went to France. After France, I went with the national team back to Tunisia. Uh, after Tunisia, I went uh, I went back to Cameroon. That's obviously I go back home, and then I I went to Korea. Korea with my team. We went to Japan. We went to Macau. I had a little bit of time to visit the Philippines, and then I'm here. So basically, it's been six countries. Six countries. You know, I am uh, so curious as to what life was like uh, go playing from one country to the next, and I'm going to ask about that when the score returns.